Yo, in today's video, we'll be looking at creepy and strange TikToks that will make you question reality. This video is brought to you by DIYOJ, where you can get your custom jersey and apparel. They hooked me up with this custom right 7X jersey, and I got the subscribe on the back. So don't forget to click the link down below to get 10% off and get your jersey today. Popular Yo, streamer exposed for performing satanic what? rituals. I'm, I'm talking to Aiden Ross right now. What's up, Papa? How are you doing, man? How you doing, brother? Hey, listen to me. Look, listen, Chad, let me tell you what happened with me and Aiden. Now, off the bat, let me tell you what happened. So look, this is what Aiden tried to do to me and Snag Hose, right? He tried to do some type of satanic ritual and have us sign this contract where we had to wear whips and chains. He offered, I swear to God, he offered us $150,000 and a fucking SSB chain. Me and Snake was the one that declined, chat. So he had to fake like he had beef with us because the two black me slaves. He tried to get us the contracts. He offered us 150 k and he wanted us to wear whips and chains for some type of dark web image to some like billionaire fuck, chat. The team what? dies after <laughs> partaking in the one chip challenge. This chip is not a game. Mm. I just want y'all to pay attention to something. Look again to my sons. If you are watching this video, next time you ask me, hey dad, hey dad, can we do the one chip challenge? I'm gonna tell you no. At the box, look what's on the box. Um it has death written all over the Straight box. Up. I'm just saying. This is what his mama said in the report. She said Harris was clutching his stomach at the nurse's office when she arrived. He indicated he'd eaten the Paquita tortilla chip, which contained the world's two spiciest peppers. What? What, bro? Just say. <laughs> eating the Paquita tortilla chip. Eating the Paquita tortilla chip. He said. The Paquita tortilla chip. Yo, bro, funny. As part of the brand One Chip Challenge, he was taken home from school and reportedly fainted about two hours later. Mm. He was taken to the hospital where he died. And I just knew something was wrong with this chip. Just look at the box. Look at the damn chip. Look at the box. And I said this when the challenge first came out. Like, somebody gonna die from eating that chip. Straight up. My condolences go out to him and his family. But from this day forward, nobody needs to be eating chip let me know what y'all think about the one chip challenge in the comments like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned man look y'all better stay away from all these spicy chips it's a reason they keep popping up so i'm gonna make this short sweet and simple this is the woman's instagram page that i was talking about um this is the woman that is claiming that sandra bullock kidnapped her twin's brother what? she has multiple pictures and i'm talking multiple she's got tons of pictures of the little boy um she's uploaded tons of paperwork to back up and prove what she's been saying and here's also another picture of that little boy Looks just i like do him, also believe that i think she did have a TikTok page but i think that it was banned because i can no longer find her because i was following her on there um, and I've just noticed that a lot of people have been making videos talking about it. Um, and I think that this woman deserves her story to be heard. And I think that it's easy for somebody like us who's not in that situation to say that we don't believe her or that it doesn't sound like it's true. But, hey, but I personally don't think she's lying. I don't. Man, look, we got to stop putting these pedestrians. Wow. We got to stop putting these celebrities on a goddamn pedestal. Look, I got pedestal and celebrity mixed up. I said, whatever. But for real, though, because just because it's Sandra Bullock, right? Do not dismiss it because celebrities be some of the most evil people because they know in nine out of ten times they can live above the law. So they do all type of stuff. Check it out, guys. Cash app. The only mm. thing working. Direct deposit. Sus. You know that sus, bro. Some hot dogs, sausages, studies contain human DNA, says reporters. Mm. Entertainment purposes only. We now have humans in the goddamn hot dogs, bro. Clear foods indicate companies that analyze food at molecule level found that 14.4% of the hot dogs tested were problematic. Clear food reports that it found human dna 
in six of the 34 samples, or 2% of all samples tested. Four of the six samples tested positive for human DNA were vegan products. So, the vegan meat, they got the vegan meat too. Aren't y'all entertained? Niggas got human meat mm. in the hot dogs and inside of the vegan hot dogs mm. too. I knew something was up with them goddamn vegan hot dogs. That's why I never ate them. Soy my ass. Let me know what y'all think about human meat spinning hot dogs in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Aren't y'all entertained? Let me ask y'all something. If y'all was to really eat human meat, right? How would you know? How would you know? If the store sold you human meat, told you it was a T-bone steak, how would you know? Aside from the bone. You know what I'm saying? You go get some ground beef for your hamburger helper. How do you know what's in that? You don't. So, you really got to be cautious out here. You know, man, it's really just like, it's not too much you can eat that's supposedly healthy, but you just got to try to limit your exposure as much as possible. What's up, everybody? What? The media say I'm going to start off by saying, fuck TikTok. And anybody that worked for TikTok, and an agent that worked for TikTok, fuck off. <laughs> okay, with that being said, there are three major distractions going on now. And I don't know if anybody then picked up on it, but there are three major distractions. Now, as long as I've been preaching this word, I've always given an answer when I speak about a certain topic. Today, I'm not going to give an answer because usually people hear the answer, they don't believe it, no way. Or they won't research the answer that is true or try to even see if it's true. So I'm going to give it to you like this and you go on your own on this one. This is the first distraction. This is the second distraction. Okay, so what's really this going is the on? the third distraction. What do you think they're doing right now as the whole world is paying attention to this bullshit? Just ask yourself. Ask yourself, why are they pushing this so hard, especially on TikTok? Hmm, it's a good question. Especially on the news. What y'all think? These these media outlets, man, I tell you, they wicked as they come. I don't even know what this one is. I'm just to be honest. The shit out of them while I can. I care nothing about numbers. I care nothing about going viral. I care nothing about a thumbs up and likes. I care a shit about that. But what I do care about is what they finna do to the masses of the world. Mm -hmm. That's what I care about. This bullshit here, they can take it or leave it. But there's a deeper and more sinister move being made while the whole world is distracted. Do you know what that is? Let Have me know, bro. Try to investigate why they pushing it so hard. Give us the answer, bro. Why are they pushing this so hard? This black hole here. Why are they pushing it so hard? Dang, who was that? Why you gotta come at her like I'm not that? Get the answer away no more. I'm gonna stop giving answers <clears> away. <throat> Cause when I give answers away, it makes you lazy and not want to put in the work to find out why. Why are they pushing this clown ass shit here? It's a fucking football game. That's it. That's all. But why they got it in your face so? Hey, check it out. Check it out. I could be reaching here, y'all. I could be reaching, but check this out. If you don't notice, right, let's just add the numbers up, right? You got 21. That's three. There is also pack 12 in the corner, which is three. Then you have another pack 12. Three, three, three. Hmm, I wonder what the symbolism is behind that. Hmm, threes everywhere. I don't know. Now I feel sorry for the people in Lahana and Maui. We all know they lied. We all know they lied and they killed these people. Mm -hmm. Ain't no question about that, what they did. But why they got you choked on it? Because they got something more sinister and more evil coming down the pipeline. 
And if you don't investigate it, so be it. Good riddance. And I'll continue to pray for these, these people in, in, in uh, Maui, in Lahaina. But to the medias of the world, they can fuck off. I give a flat shit about them. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, NBC, ABC, CNN. Who gives a fuck about them? I don't. Mm. So I'm just using them as I can while I can. To reach whoever, whether it's one person or a thousand, can't say you didn't hear it right here on this sorry ass TikTok. Goofy motherfuckers. Stay woke. <laughs> that was wild. My people, Americans everywhere will receive loud test alerts in October. Here's why. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your eyes open in October, fam. Yeah, you know, it's it's just a little practice, you feel what I'm saying? There's nothing that could possibly be going on. We just need to make sure that all our alerts can go out when they need to go out. And it's a nationwide test that will be ran by FEMA and the FCC. You feel mm. what I'm saying? Especially FEMA, you feel me? It's a lot of things that's going on that we really don't know too much about. But me personally, what I would tell y'all is all October, especially in October since they're doing this test, keep y'all eyes open. We don't know what they got going on. Every cellular device, TV, and radio. All of them. Let me know what y'all think mm. about this one in the comments. Like a follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Mm. What they trying to warn us? They trying to prepare us for something, y'all. I don't care if you think I'm Satan reincarnated. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Literally, what it says on the video. Why? Hmm. Anybody got an answer for that? I think I know why. The fact is, you can't look at that television and say, nothing happened on the 6th. Your mind is being controlled, and you have no idea. Every day your brain is bombarded with new information, and you are programmed every new morning. When you wake up and turn on the TV, access the computer or use your telephone device to snoop on your social media you are bombarded with advertisements. Videos and texts that are made to catch your attention and awaken your desire to have that. Every day they control what you will eat, what you will wear, the car you will drive, the places you will visit, how much tax you will pay, have you ever had the feeling that your life is waking up and going to work? Coming home and then doing it all over again the next day. Our life is becoming limited to just working and paying bills. Mm. We no longer have time to have fun, to get together with friends. Enjoy our families, all part of a great mass manipulation control. That sees each person as just a small part of a big machine. That's why they need to have control over you so that there is no risk of you interfering in this system that they developed years ago and that controls the population. Sucking everything and making them richer and richer. The time to end this has come. I need you to wake up now. Yo, what in the psychedelic mushroom ayahuasca trip was that video? My mind is like... Wait a minute. Hold on. Am I not? I'm not tripping, bro. Don't this thing Hold Jamie Foxx got tattoos in his head? Right, he do got a tattoo Don't on the back Jamie of his head. Jamie Foxx got a tattoo on his head. Hold on. Let me oh wait, snap! Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Oh, they got rid of the tattoo, huh? They said. Hold on. They said, you know, we want the new Jamie to be a little bit more presentable. Okay, we want you to be able to act in more roles. So. The new Jamie, don't give him the tattoo on the back of the head, okay? Leave that with the old Jamie. We'll keep him locked up over here. But with that new Jamie, let's take the tattoo away. On his head, bro. So are they doing this for us to start talking? Because the cones are wrong. Ain't really got a buzz around it because Jamie Foxx is down. 
and this is the way to get us to start talking, saying that it's the clone. This, I don't know. America believes mm. in a single parent family. When the economy changed, the family structure changed. There was more than love in these relationships. Our grandparents worked the fields together in a factory. Man works in a factory, woman takes care of children. Economic reason again to stay together. But in this new economy, where you now have women working just as much if not more than men, you now hear women telling men, I don't need you, got my own job. Do what I want to do when I want to do it. And we are now doing it very well and by ourselves. But B, it's all about money. All about money. When the economy changed, the family structure changed. Now we have a lot of people making plenty of money and lonely. Mm -hmm. They place money before family. Mm. Entertainment purposes only. Yeah, the other one. So niggas out here finding creatures. Okay, say that part. Just eating. You don't even know what the fuck it is. That looks like a... And you just gonna cook it. Look like a little baby group. You just gonna cook the shit. I ain't gonna cap. I think that's fake. I'm gonna just put that out there. I think that one's fake. I'm gonna call cap on that one. But I could be wrong. Mm, you talking about some okay, mm, okay. Well, You don't even know what the fuck it is and you eating it. Mm. Like seriously, when did mystical creatures become on the menu? No wonder why aliens trying to invade. What if that was E.T. little brother? Like literally everything. Y'all don't even know the name of the creature. Y'all just eating shit. Mm. Let me know what y'all think about them eating mystical creatures in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Just eating anything. Shit, they eat you too. <laughs> Straight up. Here commercial from 2008 showing dead celebrities Hi, that are still alive on an island. Nah, nah, this is crazy. Hey, Jude. Wow. And then they gotta go hide, huh? What do you think they're trying to tell us? Yo, and it's in a different language, too. Close call. Bafaria Lucky. Wow. Yo, y'all think celebrities is really out here on an island somewhere? Following unedited clip just got... Because I forgot to mention that this was all scripted, story-like entertainment just for fun. But it's the kind of fun they don't want you to know about. I'm going to tell you the truth about music. It's spiritual technology that was invented before this realm was created. Mm. And it was taught to men. If you follow the Enoch Genesis 6 narrative, you'll see that a band of rebels took and taught music to men for purposes that were not what it was created for. And you can see fast forward to modern day how music is still used to manipulate culture. It's used to influence and keep us all under a spell. Music is witchcraft to an extent when used that way. You're talking about frequencies. Even people in the industry will admit that music is hypnosis. They manipulate mm -hmm. frequencies. It's all a science to manipulate and influence and control the world. Yeah, I remember that, that little video clip with Lil Uzi Vert when they were talking about his, his viral song and saying why, uh, you know, how do you get everyone to like the song so much? And he just says straight up, it's hypnosis. Why do we not believe them when they tell us the truth? And all the listeners. If you want to go down the rabbit hole, search John Todd, Music Witchcraft. He was a music executive that exposes witchcraft and how music is produced by witches and rituals that are done to records in order to keep the populace under hypnosis and spells. An earworm is music technology. It's when you can't get a song out of your head or a certain part of a song mm. is stuck in your head and it's designed that way to stay in there. Mm. 
Now when you're talking about frequency manipulation and you look back at what solfeggio tones are or the ancient Gregorian chants and you realize that the crossing of the barriers of dimensions would happen when certain tones were sung the right way. All this knowledge is lost, but if you look up stories of the ancient Gregorian chants and realize that miracles would happen and the dimensions were breached when certain frequencies were sung a certain way, even tying into the idea of the tetragrammaton being sung in a certain frequency, the true name of God. Now, when you look back at ancient Jericho or displays monks have even displayed, you can mm. see how frequency can be used to lift heavy objects or destroy them, which is also my theory on the pyramid. It was used by frequency levitation from sound. True music. Uh, yeah, I can see that, you know, but I just want people to realize that there are more than just one set of pyramids that are in Egypt. There are pyramids all over this world, all over this plane is pyramids. So I want everyone, you know, when you think about that, like how the pyramids were created, think about all of the pyramids, not just that one. It's not like they just took all their time to create this one pyramid. No, there are pyramids all over. It is meant to heal. The way music is being used today, it's meant to hurt and enslave the people. Let's get back to the true roots of what music was made for, to heal and to go back to the source. This whole idea of music being used to heal also ties into the old world if you look at cathedrals and their true purpose. And you can see from the cymatic resonance patterns that it created. And if you really look into mm. it, what it basically was, people would go there, sing certain frequencies and tones, and it would resonate from the structures the way they were built. And anyone standing in there would be totally healed. Their molecules would rearrange into total healed, balanced state. Dr. Emoto did a study on water and the effects of words on water and even certain music on water knowing that your body's made up of water and it has an effect that's crazy Let's get back to the healing purposes of music yo that's wild what Like everything's turning demonic, literally everything right now. Now I know y'all just heard what Joe Biden just said. Listen to this. I want to reiterate that appreciation today. I also convened my entire cabinet as part of a whole of government response. And that response is to increase the number and intensity of the extreme weather events and be wary we're gonna be use all the resources available to the government to do it. Yo, did y'all just hear that? Did y'all just hear that? Y'all gotta stop denying what's in your face, bro. At Literally. this point, if you don't believe nothing, something is wrong with you. Cause there ain't no way. You cannot deny facts. Things that are happening are being put upon us. Not naturally happening. It's clear as day. Now TikTok, this video is for educational purposes only. But y'all please break the fuck up. Share, share, share this video, y'all. Comment below what y'all think about it. Because I want to know. Stay blessed and stay safe. Man, look. Y'all know the masses is mostly sheeple anyway. One of Britney's newest uploads. I noticed some things and just sharpened the quality of the video to see better. Britney out here looking crazy. Looks like a Britney filter. Definitely. Yep. The whole wow. motherfucking face just changed. Wow. Her lower back tattoo seems to be on top of her skirt as if it was pasted and edited on. Watch. A beauty filter wouldn't do this. So to the delusion folks, shut the entire hell up before you fix your crusty ass fingers to type dumb things. And, and of course her hand had to move, disappears and reappears. But why did her fingers disappear? Beauty filter my ass. She's CGI out here. That's AI. Where is Britney? Where is Britney? She gone.
These blue umbrellas from the Hawaii fires are circulating the internet of how they weren't affected by the flames when things around them was burnt. And this video from Laser vs. showing different colors reactions and how blue isn't affected. This is for general purposes only, with some people claiming that blue repels radio frequency. And how blue painted objects didn't burn down, with the Simpsons blue umbrella scene? with conspiracies claiming that it's either aliens or laser devices or Russia who did this allegedly. But the Hawaii Fire Science Program Coordinator at Hawaii Community College made a statement about this and said, There is no reason the color blue has anything to do with wildland fire behavior. Wildland fires do not burn in a consistent manner but in a mosaic pattern. The blue umbrellas may have been treated with a substance that prevented embers from igniting them. There were unburned structures surrounded by burned structures. And it was stated by them that the fire started from bare power lines, not laser or aliens targeting us or Russia. But what do you of think course, about this? Is this a that. coincidence? May all the people that lost their lives in these tragic fires be rest in peace. Now, this woman has worked in fundraising for years, so she actually went through the receipts. So she's going to break down what this fund actually is, right? And I saw someone in the chat. I can't find it now. I saw someone in the chat said she is donating money. We're not saying she's not donating money. What I'm saying is she's a fucking billionaire. Period. Don't come, I'll tell you right now. Don't come in here defending Zofra's ass. Do not come in here defending fucking billionaires. This ain't the show for you. I keep it real right now. I'm gonna let you know. This is not the show for you. You can skidoo. Moving on. This woman right here, she looked at the fund. And guess what she found out? This is why I say you do mutual aid, not charity. Listen to this. Mm. I keep seeing videos about The Rock and Oprah raising money for the Maui Fund. My name is Ashley. I've been a professional fundraiser for over 20 years. I think like 25 plus at this point. Let me explain something to you. The word fund means that it is a fund or a bank account, if you will, inside sure of a nonprofit. A nonprofit is managing it. What nonprofit is it? I will tell you. Pause. It is a nonprofit that is managing this fund. For Look at this. 20 years, I think like 25 plus at this point. Let me explain something to you. The word fund means that it is a fund or a bank account, if you will, inside of a nonprofit. A nonprofit is managing it. What nonprofit is it? I will tell you. So this is why I tell you again, you have to be careful about donating to these organizations. You can give that money directly to the people. Sure Why enough. is a nonprofit managing this? And I've worked, look, I've had my experience with nonprofits. You got to be careful with those. So who's managing this fund? The Entertainment Industry Foundation. Wow. This is a fund. The Maui Fund is within the Entertainment Industry Foundation. The Entertainment Industry Foundation. Everybody see this? For the whack ass who came into the chat trying to defend billionaire Oprah? Miss me with the bullshit. Let's keep it moving. I read a lot of 990s on my page. I haven't in a while, but let's look at it. A 990 is the tax return, if you will, uh, that every nonprofit has to submit, just like we submit our taxes. And every nonprofit's 990 is open for public inquiry. It literally says that on the 990, open for public inquiry. So let's inquire. When you go to the fund's website, they're saying that they're gonna give $1,200 for each adult who lives in either Lahaina or Kula. I don't know what the duration of that 1200 is. And then you also have to verify that you- Pause. $1,200. $1,200, that's $1, it, huh? $1,200. The fund's website. That's crazy. They're saying that they're going to give $1,200 for each adult who lives in either Lahaina or Kula. Yeah, wasn't like the stimulus check more than that? You know what I'm saying? And when we got the stimulus, I'm pretty sure it was a, like 1200 if not more. And nothing happened to us, really. They got their whole island burned down. Let me give you $1,200. Do you know how expensive it is to live in Hawaii? After California, I have to double check. Last time California was number one. Actually, California is number two now in the, the new cost of living report. Hawaii, most expensive state to live in in this country. Hawaii. Mm. They're giving these people $1,200.
the fuck are they gonna do with twelve hundred dollars? They trying to get people off that island. Can you That's get what an they're doing. In Hawaii with twelve hundred dollars, not based on the cost of living report, you can. We went over that on this show multiple times. So what are they supposed to do? They can use that to get food, to get some supplies. But that's it. After billions and billions of dollars have gone to Ukraine, twelve hundred dollars in Hawaii. Mm. Your own land. That's crazy. Let's continue. There's more. Wait for it. I don't know what the duration of that twelve hundred is, and then you also have to verify that you actually live there. It could be a homeowner or a renter, but you cannot own property there and not live there. You're not going to be qualified. The form for residents to apply looks great. This is actually a really big deal to implement uh, from a nonprofit perspective. The only thing I don't like, and all these nonprofits do this, none of your business. It's none of your business if anybody's receiving state or federal be uh, benefits. It's not your business. I don't know why nonprofits ask for this data. Here's more information about the fund. I love that they have an accessibility thing down here. You know, if you have trouble filling it out, you need help, you can call this number. That's awesome. Every single nonprofit, as long as they file their taxes, will have a 990 available. You can either go on the IRS website or you can go to ProPublica, which is my personal favorite. Do not go to any of these other websites, in my opinion, because they're just fishing for your address when this is publicly available information. And ProPublica yep. doesn't bug me about that stuff. So this is their tax filing from 2021. These are the salaries of the executives. Pause. Look at their salaries. Again, this I is really a nonprofit. Can't see that. Look at the, the salaries of the executives. They look the pretty, pretty big. The president of the nonprofit that manages this fund is making over $400,000 a year. You got the CEO making over 300,000. You have the CFO making over $290,000 a year. These are the executives. All these people, you go all the way down, right? Except for the people on the board. You go all the way down to VP advocacy and they're making over $171,000 a year. These are the salaries of the people that are executives of the nonprofit that's managing this fund. Mm. These are the kind of things you need to see. Mm. That's where all the fun money goes to the executives. Hey, bro, yeah. Bring out the big coffee. Bring out the big coffee. Probably <laughs> weird. What's up, girl? You stack it, stack it, stack You know, America has been waiting for y'all to come back to us. How's everything going? Everything's going pretty good. Yeah. Okay, let's clear something up because you know I've been getting a rundown on the street. Everybody seems to think that y'all are either girlfriend or boyfriend or cousins or friends. <laughs> just let's, let's just get the record straight. <laughs> better go get me a white Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we're not related at, at all. all. No, all we're right. not. We're just very close. He's my best friend. Yeah, cool. In now, who found him in the whole wide world? Um, I found Leah. As a matter of fact, Barry Hankerson, my manager, who's her uncle, uh, told me to go up to Detroit and hear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This already sound off. So her uncle, this probably a couple years ago, since they best friends, you know what I'm saying? Like they hadn't been talking for a couple years. So R. Kelly probably like 25, 24, and she like 12. And the uncle says, shoot, let me get some of that bread, R. Kelly. Hey, take my niece with you. I don't care what you do, take her with you. Just let me get a little bit. Look, you got to watch out, man. Got to watch out for your family members because they'll sell you too. I sing. Once I got up to Detroit, I didn't have to hear her sing because she was glowing. I knew she had it. As soon as she started singing, that verified it. And from there, we became here. Everything is all good. Mm -hmm. Is Aliyah your real name? Aliyah is my real name. It's very unique. It's nice though. I think it's Muslim Arabic. All oh, right. Does know. it? I mean, do you know the meaning, or does it have a meaning? It means the highest, most exalted one, the best. All right. Here Who's we go. You? Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> everybody know. Can you say it one more time so we make sure we get this? The highest, most exalted one, right? the best. The best. Right, Get then. it, y'all. <laughs> now, what does everybody call you? I know your name is Robert, but do they say your Art, your Kelly, your, your Robert, your Art? Uh, Kelly. Uh, some call me Ark. Mm -hmm. You know, some call <laughs> making Art. a mistake. Right, Ark. <laughs> yeah, but uh, most uh, people who know me call me Rob. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me, um, Aaliyah. I know you're a straight A student. How do you mix with, uh, you know, studies and slash artists? 
Well, it was very hard to intertwine school with the career, but I do feel that education is number one. Cool. So I work hard at that, and I go to performing arts school, so oh, right. they're very helpful. They've been very cooperative with me. DSA, everybody knows <laughs> the trait. And uh, my parents work with me, Good. so they help me keep my grades up. What do your parents think about your career? They're very happy for me mm -hmm. that, you know, I finally got where I wanted to get. I've been working very hard, and they've been... They finally got what they wanted to get, too. When I was a little thing, I used to run around and sing, and they've helped me. They've developed me. Now, how do people around you act? I mean, you know how people say you've changed, and it's usually not you who've changed, but the people around you. Do you feel that kind of vibe going on? Well, my friends at school, they, they've been supportive. They haven't... They don't think I've changed any. They, they're the same. <laughs> I'm the same. We're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Man. Now, how is he to work with? Rob is great to work with because really it's not like we work because we're like really close. So it's like just fun, really. We just hang out, mm -hmm. sing. I don't ever remember working. Yeah, it's just like fun. <laughs> it seems like you had a lot of fun recording your album, mm -hmm. but is there any song on the album that is your baby that you like more than others? At your best. At your best. Mm. At your best, you are loved. And that's what we're going to peek at today, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Why that song? Because I love the Isley Brothers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really admire them. They're very unique. Their sound is very... Hey, and also, ain't it crazy how they got the whole little Mickey Mouse song, though? You know what I'm saying? She got the Mickey Mouse. We know what's going on with Mickey Mouse and with Disney. And they just throwing it in our face, even back then. Very unique. You can tell the Isley Brothers song right off. And when he brought it to me, I just fell in love with it from the first time. So that's why I love it. Where'd the title of the album come from? She's running around the studio one day with her friends. <laughs> talking around the smack. I'm like, age ain't nothing but a number, girl. I'm uh, like, what, what, what's the what you trying to say? So immediately I heard the song, mm. you know, and I said, I called her back 15 minutes later, told her, check this out. So we cool. cut the track right then and there. Right. And for the mm. record, you are how old? That's a secret. Uh -oh. Women doesn't disclose her age. <laughs> you were in high school, shorty. That's right. So now y'all getting ready to set off this tour. And I want you to know I'm coming with you because I'm on the heavy D side. So we're going to set it off. Tell right. them about the tour, the package. I don't think everybody knows about it. Well, well first of all, there's going to be a lot of excitement. Uh, heavy D, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Warren G, uh, Coolio, Aaliyah, myself. It's going to be a bomb. Now, are you guys going to be a package on stage, or are you doing your thing and you're doing your thing? Um, <clears throat> I think I come off first. Right? Yeah, she's right, coming right on before. first. Mm -hmm. right. Do her thing. I'm going to do my thing. Right. Yeah. Leah, I know you like movies. That's what you do in your spare time? Yep. Watch the movies. Uh, my favorite are uh, horror flicks like Science of the Lambs. My All favorite. Right. All time favorite. I like comedies, <laughs> too. Do you have any aspirations <laughs> on? Yeah. Do you have any aspirations on becoming an actress or maybe you know moving into film down the road? Um, yeah, I would like to. Um, the school I go to, of course, be dealing drama, dancing, everything. So I would like to do a little acting on the side. All cool. Right. Well, let's check out this new video of yours. Mm -hmm. At your best, you are loved by the Isley Brothers. Let's check it out, and then we're gonna get back in your business. The remix. <laughs> All right. Remix. <laughs> Your car oh, man. Be fueled by Look, Hollywood is highly weird. It's all type of stuff that's going on in Hollywood. It's been going on forever. Rob. Just water and here's how. In 1998, Stanley Meyer invented a car that was able to run just on water. He even made videos proving that this car worked and showed the entire world. Now the problem is when the oil industry seen this, they tried to pay him millions to stop. And when he didn't, they even threatened him. This is because all of our cars run on gas. And fueling your car would be free because water is literally everywhere. So if people started using this new car, the government would have lost billions of dollars. And this ended up putting Stanley Meyer's life in jeopardy. While Stanley mm -hmm. was in a meeting with investors to grow his invention, he took a sip of his drink and immediately ran outside. While people were surrounding him asking was going on he yelled out they poisoned me as he fell to the ground and passed away and the strange part is shortly after this happened his water power car was stolen from his garage this caused a lot of news to come out saying that his car may have been the reason he passed away in the end people yep. still drive cars running on gas and the oil industry is still making his money let me know in the comment section what you think happened to stanley myers and follow me for more stories like this y'all stay conscious mm. that's crazy popular oh, streamer exposed Ross. for performing satanic what? rituals uh, I'm talking to Aiden Ross right now. What's up, Papa? How are you doing, man? How you doing, brother? Hey, listen to me. Look, listen, Chad. Let me tell you what happened with me, Aiden. Now, off the bat, let me tell you what happened. So, look, this is what Aiden tried to do to me at Snaggles, right? 
He tried to do some type of satanic ritual and have us sign this contract where we had to wear whips and chains. He offered, I swear to God, chain. He offered us one hundred and fifty thousand dollars and a fucking SSB chain. Me and Snego was the one that declined, chat. So he had to fake like he had beef with us because the two black be slaves. He tried to get us the contracts. He offered us one hundred and fifty k and he wanted us to wear whips and chains for some type of dark web image to some like billionaire fuck, chat. Team what? dies after <laughs> partaking in the one chip challenge. This chip is not a game. Mm. I just want y'all to pay attention to something. Look again to my sons. If you are watching this video, next time you ask me, hey dad, hey dad, can we do the one chip challenge? I'm gonna tell you no. At the box, look what's on the box. Um it has death written all over the Straight box. Up. I'm just saying. This is what his mama said in the report. She said Harris was clutching his stomach at the nurse's office when she arrived. He indicated he'd eaten the Paquita tortilla chip, which contained the world's two spiciest peppers. Or what, bro? Just say. <laughs> eating the Paquita tortilla chip. Eating the Paquita tortilla chip. He said. The Paquita tortilla chip. Yo, bro, funny. As part of the brand One Chip Challenge, he was taken home from school and reportedly fainted about two hours later. Mm. He was taken to the hospital where he died. And I just knew something was wrong with this chip. Just look at the box. Look at the damn chip. Look at the box. And I said this when the challenge first came out. Like, somebody gonna die from eating that chip. Straight up. My condolences go out to him and his family. But from this day forward, nobody needs to be eating. Chip. Let me know what y'all think about the one chip challenge in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Man, look, y'all better stay away from all these spicy chips. It's a reason they keep popping up. So I'm gonna make this short, sweet, and simple. This is the woman's Instagram page that I was talking about. Um, this is the woman that is claiming that Sandra Bullock kidnapped her twin's brother. What? She has multiple pictures, and I'm talking multiple. She's got tons of pictures of the little boy. Um, she's uploaded tons of paperwork to back up and prove what she's been saying. And here's also another picture of that little boy. Looks just I like do him, also believe that I think she did have a TikTok page, but I think that it was banned because I can no longer find her because I was following her on there. Um, and I've just noticed that a lot of people have been making videos talking about it. Um, and I think that this woman deserves her story to be heard. And I think that it's easy for somebody like us who's not in that situation to say that we don't believe her or that it doesn't sound like it's true. But, hey, but I personally don't think she's lying. I don't. Man, look, we got to stop putting these pedestrians. Wow. We got to stop putting these celebrities on a goddamn pedestal. Look, I got pedestal and celebrity mixed up. I said whatever. But for real though, because just because it's Sandra Bullock, right? Do not dismiss it. Because celebrities be some of the most evil people because they know in nine out of ten times they can live above the law. So they do all type of stuff. Check it out, guys. Cash app, the only mm. thing working. Direct deposit. Sus. You know that sus, bro. Some hot dogs, sausages, studies contain human DNA, says reporters. Mm. Entertainment purposes only. We now have humans in the goddamn hot dogs, bruh. Clear foods indicate companies that analyze food at molecule level found that 14.4% of the hot dogs tested were problematic. Clear food reports that it found human DNA in six of the 34 samples or 2% of all samples tested. Four of the six samples tested positive for human DNA were vegan products. So the vegan meat, they got the vegan meat too. Aren't y'all entertained? Niggas got human meat mm. in the hot dogs and inside of the vegan hot dogs, mm. too. I knew something was up with them goddamn vegan hot dogs. That's why I never ate them. Soy my ass. 
Let me know <clears throat> what y'all think about human meat spinning hot dogs in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom. And stay tuned. Aren't y'all entertained? Let me ask y'all something. If y'all was to really eat human meat, right? How would you know? How would you know? If the store sold you human meat, told you it was a T-bone steak, how would you know? Aside from the bone. You know what I'm saying? You go get some ground beef for your hamburger helper. How do you know what's in that? You don't. So, you really got to be cautious out here. You know, man, it's really just like, it's not too much you can eat that's supposedly healthy. But you just got to try to limit your exposure as much as possible. What's up, everybody? What? The media say I'm going to start off by saying, fuck TikTok. And anybody that worked for TikTok, and an agent that worked for TikTok, fuck off. <laughs> okay, with that being said, there are three major distractions going on now, and I don't know if anybody then picked up on it, but there are three major distractions. Now, as long as I've been preaching this word, I've always given an answer when I speak about a certain topic. Today, I'm not going to give an answer because usually people hear the answer, they don't believe it, no way. Or they won't research the answer that is true or try to even see if it's true. So I'm going to give it to you like this and you go on your own on this one. This is the first distraction. This is the second distraction. Okay, so what's really this going is the on? the third distraction. What do you think they're doing right now as the whole world is paying attention to this bullshit? Just ask yourself. Ask yourself why are they pushing this so hard, especially on TikTok. Hmm. It's a good question. Especially on the news. What y'all think? These these media outlets, man, I tell you, they wicked as they come. I don't even know what this one is. I'm just to be honest. The shit out of them while I can. I care nothing about numbers. I care nothing about going viral. I care nothing about a thumbs up and likes. I care a shit about that. But what I do care about is what they finna do to the masses of the world. Mm -hmm. That's what I care about. This bullshit here, they can take it or leave it. But there's a deeper and more sinister move being made while the whole world is distracted. Do you know what that is? Let Have me you know, bro. Try to investigate why they pushing it so hard. Give us the answer, bro. Why are they pushing this so hard? This black hole here. Why are they pushing it so hard? Dang, who was that? Why you gotta come at her like I'm not that? Get the answer away no more. I'm gonna stop giving answers <clears> away. <throat> Cause when I give answers away, it makes you lazy and not want to put in the work to find out why. Why are they pushing this clown ass shit here? It's a fucking football game. That's it. That's all. But why they got it in your face so? Hey, check it out. Check it out. I could be reaching here, y'all. I could be reaching. But check this out. If you don't notice, right? Let's just add the numbers up, right? You got 21. That's 3. There is also pack 12 in the corner, which is 3. Then you have another pack 12. 3, 3, 3. Hmm, I wonder what the symbolism is behind that. Hmm, threes everywhere. I don't know. Now I feel sorry for the people in Lahana and Maui. We all know they lied. We all know they lied and they killed these people. Mm-hmm. Ain't no question about that, what they did. But why they got you choked on it? Because they got something more sinister and more evil coming down the pipeline. And if you don't investigate it, so be it. Good riddance. And I'll continue to pray for these, these people in, in, in uh, Maui, in Lahana. But to the medias of the world, they can fuck off. I give a flat shit about them. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, NBC, ABC, CNN. Who gives a fuck about them? I don't. Mm. So I'm just using them as I can while I can. 
to reach whoever, whether it's one person or a thousand, can't say you didn't hear it right here on this sorry ass TikTok. Goofy motherfuckers. Stay woke. <laughs> that was wild. My people, Americans everywhere will receive loud test alerts in October. Here's why. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your eyes open in October, fam. Yeah, you know, it's it's just a little practice, you feel what I'm saying? There's nothing that could possibly be going on. We just need to make sure that all our alerts can go out when they need to go out. And it's a nationwide test that will be ran by FEMA and the FCC. You feel mm. what I'm saying? Especially FEMA, you feel me? It's a lot of things that's going on that we really don't know too much about. But me personally, what I would tell y'all is all October, especially in October since they doing this test, keep y'all eyes open. We don't know what they got going on. Every cellular device, TV, and radio. All of them. Let me know what y'all think mm. about this one in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Mm. What they trying to warn us? They trying to prepare us for something, y'all. I don't care if you think I'm Satan reincarnated. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Literally, what it says on the video. Why? Hmm. Anybody got an answer for that? I think I know why. The fact is, you can't look at that television and say, nothing happened on the 6th. Your mind is being controlled, and you have no idea. Every day your brain is bombarded with new information, and you are programmed every new morning. When you wake up and turn on the TV, access the computer or use your telephone device to snoop on your social media you are bombarded with advertisements. Videos and texts that are made to catch your attention and awaken your desire to have that. Every day they control what you will eat, what you will wear, the car you will drive, the places you will visit, how much tax you will pay, have you ever had the feeling that your life is waking up and going to work? Coming home and then doing it all over again the next day. Our life is becoming limited to just working and paying bills. Mm. We no longer have time to have fun, to get together with friends. Enjoy our families, all part of a great mass manipulation control. That sees each person as just a small part of a big machine. That's why they need to have control over you so that there is no risk of you interfering in this system that they developed years ago and that controls the population. Sucking everything and making them richer and richer. The time to end this has come. I need you to wake up now. Yo, what in the psychedelic mushroom ayahuasca trip was that video? My mind is like... Wait a minute. Hold on. Am I not? I'm not tripping, bro. Don't this think Hold Jamie Foxx got tattoos in his head? Right, he do got a tattoo Don't on the back Jamie of his head. Jamie Foxx got a tattoo on his head. Hold on. Let me oh wait snap! A minute, wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Oh, they got ready to tattoo, huh? They say. Hold on. They said, you know, we want the new Jamie to be a little bit more presentable. Okay, we want you to be able to act in more roles. So. The new Jamie, don't give him the tattoo on the back of the head, okay? Leave that with the old Jamie. We'll keep him locked up over here. But with that new Jamie, let's take the tattoo away. On his head, bro. So are they doing this for us to start talking because the cones are wrong? Ain't really got a buzz around it because Jamie Foxx is down. And this is the way to get us to start talking, saying that it's the clone. This, I don't know. America believes in a single parent family. When the economy changed, the family structure changed. There was more than love in these relationships. Our grandparents worked the fields together in a factory. Man works in factory, woman takes care of children. Economic reason again to stay together. But in this new economy, where you now have women working just as much if not more than men, you now hear women telling men, I don't need you, got my own job. Do what I want to do when I want to do it. And we are now doing it very well and by ourselves. But B, it's all about money. All about money. 
when the economy changed, the family structure changed. Now we have a lot of people making plenty of money and lonely. Mm -hmm. They place money before family. Mm. Entertainment purposes only. Yeah, the other one. So niggas out here finding creatures. Okay, say that part. Just eating. You don't even know what the fuck it is. That look like a. And you just gonna cook it. Look like a little baby group. You just gonna cook the shit. I ain't gonna cap. I think that's fake. I'm gonna just put that out there. I think that one's fake. I'm gonna call cap on that one. But I could be wrong. Mm, you talking about some okay, mm, no, 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 You don't even know what the fuck it is and you eating it. Mm. Him, like seriously, when did mystical creatures become on the menu? No wonder why aliens trying to invade. What if that was E.T. little brother? Like literally everything. Y'all don't even know the name of the creature. Y'all just eating shit. Mm. Let me know what y'all think about them eating mystical creatures in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom. Stay tuned. Just eating anything. Shit, they eat you too. <laughs> Straight up. Here a commercial from 2008 showing dead celebrities Hi, that are Thank still you. alive on an island. Oh, now this is crazy. Hey, Jude. Wow. And then they gotta go hide, huh? What do you think they're trying to tell us? Yo, and it's in a different language, too. Close call. Papalia Lucky. Wow. Yo, y'all think celebrities is really out here on an island somewhere? Following unedited clip just got because I forgot to mention that this was all scripted story like entertainment just for fun. But it's the kind of fun they don't want you to know about. I'm going to tell you the truth about music. It's spiritual technology that was invented before this realm was created. Mm. And it was taught to men. If you follow the Enoch Genesis 6 narrative, you'll see that a band of rebels took and taught music to men for purposes that were not what it was created for. And you can see fast forward to modern day how music is still used to manipulate culture. It's used to influence and keep us all under a spell. Music is witchcraft to an extent when used that way. You're talking about frequencies. Even people in the industry will admit that music is hypnosis. They manipulate mm -hmm. frequencies. It's all a science to manipulate and influence and control the world. Y'all remember that, that little video clip with Lil Uzi Vert when they were talking about his, his viral song and saying why, uh, you know, how do you get everyone to like the song so much? And he just says straight up, it's hypnosis. Why do we not believe them when they tell us the truth? And all the listeners. If you want to go down the rabbit hole, search John Todd, Music Witchcraft. He was a music executive that exposes witchcraft and how music is produced by witches and rituals that are done to records in order to keep the populace under hypnosis and spells. An earworm is music technology. It's when you can't get a song out of your head or a certain part of a song mm. is stuck in your head and it's designed that way to stay in there. Mm. Now, when you're talking about frequency manipulation and you look back at what Selfeggio tones are or the ancient Gregorian chants and you realize that the crossing of the barriers of dimensions would happen when certain tones were sung the right way. All this knowledge is lost, but if you look up stories of the ancient Gregorian chants and realize that miracles would happen and the dimensions were breached when certain frequencies were sung a certain way, even tying into the idea of the tetragrammaton being sung in a certain frequency, the true name of God. Now, when you look back at ancient Jericho or displays monks have even displayed, you can mm. see how frequency can be used to lift heavy objects or destroy them, which is also my theory on the pyramid. It was used by frequency levitation from sound. True music. Uh, yeah, I can see that, you know, but I just want people to realize that there are more than just 
one set of pyramids that are in Egypt. There are pyramids all over this world. All over this plane is pyramids. So I want everyone, you know, when you think about that, like how the pyramids were created, think about all of the pyramids, not just that one. It's not like they just took all their time to create this one pyramid. No, there are pyramids all over. It is meant to heal. The way music is being used today, it's meant to hurt and enslave the people. Let's get back to the true roots of what music was made for, to heal and to go back to the source. This whole idea of music being used to heal also ties into the old world if you look at cathedrals and their true purpose. And you can see from the cymatic resonance patterns that it created. And if you really look into mm. it, what it basically was, people would go there, sing certain frequencies and tones, and it would resonate from the structures the way they were built. And anyone standing in there would be totally healed. Their molecules would rearrange into total healed, balanced state. Dr. Emoto did a study on water and the effects of words on water and even certain music on water knowing that your body's made up of water and it has an effect that's crazy Let's get back to the healing purposes of music yo that's wild Like everything's turning demonic, literally everything right now. Now I know y'all just heard what Joe Biden just said. Listen to this. I want to reiterate that appreciation today. I also convened my entire cabinet as part of a whole of government response. And that response is to increase the number and intensity of the extreme weather events and be wary we're gonna be use all the resources available to the government to do it. Yo, did y'all just hear that? Did y'all just hear that? Y'all gotta stop denying what's in your face, bro. At Literally. this point, if you don't believe nothing, something is wrong with you. Cause there ain't no way. You cannot deny facts. Things that are happening are being put upon us. Not naturally happening. It's clear as day. Now TikTok, this video is for educational purposes only. But y'all please break the fuck up. Man, look, y'all know the masses is mostly sheeple anyway. One of Britney's newest uploads. I noticed some things and just sharpened the quality of the video to see better. Britney out here looking crazy. Looks like a Britney filter. Definitely. Yep. The whole wow. motherfucking face just changed. Wow. Her lower back tattoo seems to be on top of her skirt as if it was pasted and edited on. Watch. A beauty filter wouldn't do this. So to the delusion folks, shut the entire hell up before you fix your crusty ass fingers to type dumb things. And of course her hand had to moves, disappears and reappears. But why did her fingers disappear? Beauty filter my ass. She CGI out here. That's AI. Where is Britney? Where is Britney? She gone. These blue umbrellas from the Hawaii fires are circulating the internet of how they weren't affected by the flames when things around them was burnt. And this video from Laser versus showing different colors reactions and how blue isn't affected. This is for general purposes only, with some people claiming that blue repels radio frequency. And how blue painted objects didn't burn down with the Simpsons blue umbrella scene with conspiracies claiming that it's either aliens or laser devices or Russia who did this allegedly. But the Hawaii Fire Science Program Coordinator at Hawaii Community College made a statement about this and said, There is no reason the color blue has anything to do with wildland fire behavior. Wildland fires do not burn in a consistent manner, but in a mosaic pattern. The blue umbrellas may have been treated with a substance that prevented embers from igniting them. There were unburned structures surrounded by burned structures. 
and it was stated by them that the fire started from bare power lines, not laser or aliens targeting us or Russia. But what do you of think course, about this? Is this a that. coincidence? May all the people that lost their lives in these tragic fires be rest in peace. Now, this woman has worked in fundraising for years, so she actually went through the receipts. So she's going to break down what this fund actually is, right? And I saw someone in the chat. I can't find it now. I saw someone in the chat said she is donating money. We're not saying she's not donating money. What I'm saying is she's a fucking billionaire. Period. Don't come tell you right now. Don't come in here defending Zofra's ass. Do not come in here defending fucking billionaires. This ain't the show for you. I keep it real right now. I'm going to let you know. This is not the show for you. You can skidoo. Moving on, this woman right here, she looked at the fund. And guess what she found out? This is why I say you do mutual aid, not charity. Listen to this. Mm. I keep seeing videos about The Rock and Oprah raising money for the Maui Fund. My name is Ashley. I've been a professional fundraiser for over 20 years. I think like 25 plus at this point. Let me explain something to you. The word fund means that it is a fund or a bank account, if you will, inside sure of a nonprofit. A nonprofit is managing it. What nonprofit is it? I will tell you. Pause. It is a nonprofit that is managing this fund. For Look at this. I think like 25 plus at this point. Let me explain something to you. The word fund means that it is a fund or a bank account, if you will, inside of a nonprofit. A nonprofit is managing it. What nonprofit is it? I will tell you. So, this is why I tell you again you have to be careful about donating to these organizations. You can give that money directly to the people. Sure why enough. is a nonprofit managing this? And I've worked, look, I've had my experience with nonprofits. You got to be careful with those. So, who's managing this fund? The Entertainment Industry Foundation. Wow. This is a fund. The Maui Fund is within the Entertainment Industry Foundation. I the Entertainment Industry Foundation. Everybody see this? For the whack ass who came into the chat trying to defend billionaire Oprah? Miss me with the bullshit. Let's keep it moving. I read a lot of 990s on my page. I haven't in a while, but let's look at it. A 990 is the tax return, if you will, uh, that every nonprofit has to submit, just like we submit our taxes. And every nonprofit's 990 is open for public inquiry. It literally says that on the 990, open for public inquiry. So let's inquire. When you go to the fund's website, they're saying that they're going to give $1,200 for each adult who lives in either Lahaina or Kula. I don't know what the duration of that 1200 is, and then you also have to verify that you Pause. Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred. That's $1, it, huh? Hundred dollars. The fund's website. That's crazy. They're saying that they're going to give twelve hundred dollars for each adult who lives in either Lahaina or Kula. Yeah, wasn't like the stimulus check more than that? You know what I'm saying? And when we got the stimulus, I'm pretty sure it was a like twelve hundred, if not more, and nothing happened to us really. They got their whole island burned down. Let me give you $1,200. Do you know how expensive it is to live in Hawaii? After California, I have to double check. Last time, California was number one. Actually, California is number two now in the, the new cost of living report. Hawaii, most expensive state to live in in this country. Hawaii. Mm. They're giving these people $1,200 the fuck are they gonna do with twelve hundred dollars they're trying to get people off that island can you that's get what an they're apartment doing in hawaii with twelve hundred dollars not based on the cost of living report you can we went over that on this show multiple times so what are they supposed to do they can use that to get food to get some supplies but that's it after billions and billions of dollars have gone to ukraine twelve hundred dollars in hawaii mm. your own land that's crazy. Let's continue. There's more. Wait for it. I don't know what the duration of that 1200 is. And then you also have to verify that you actually live there. It could be a homeowner or a renter, but you cannot own property there and not live there. You're not going to be qualified. 
The form for residents to apply looks great. This is actually a really big deal to implement uh, from a nonprofit perspective. The only thing I don't like, and all these nonprofits do this, none of your business. It's none of your business if anybody's receiving state or federal be uh, benefits. It's not your business. I don't know why nonprofits ask for this data. Here's more information about the fund. I love that they have an accessibility thing down here. You know, if you have trouble filling it out, you need help, you can call this number. That's awesome. Every single nonprofit, as long as they file their taxes, will have a 990 available. You can either go on the IRS website or you can go to ProPublica, which is my personal favorite. Do not go to any of these other websites, in my opinion, because they're just fishing for your address when this is publicly available information. And ProPublica yep. doesn't bug me about that stuff. So this is their tax filing from 2021. These are the salaries of the executives. Pause. Look at their salaries. Again, this I really is can't see that. Look at the, the salaries of the executives. They look the pretty, pretty big. The president of the nonprofit that manages this fund is making over $400,000 a year. You got the CEO making over 300,000. You have the CFO making over $290,000 a year. These are the executives. All these people, you go all the way down, right? Except for the people on the board. You go all the way down to VP advocacy and they're making over $171,000 a year. These are the salaries of the people that are executives of the nonprofit that's managing this fund. Mm. These are the kind of things you need to see. Mm. That's where all the fund money goes to the executives. Hey, hey, Bring out the big coffee. Bring out the big coffee. Probably weird. You, 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 <laughs> you know, America has been waiting for y'all to come back to us. How is everything going? Everything's going pretty good. Yeah. Okay, let's clear something up, because you know I've been getting a rundown on the street. Everybody seems to think that y'all are either girlfriend or boyfriend or cousins or <laughs> just let's man. let's just get the record straight. <laughs> go get me a white Jeep. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, no, we're not related. At all. At all. No, we're not. We're just very close. This is my best friend. Yeah, cool. In now, who found him? In the whole wide world. Um, I found Leah. As a matter of fact, Barry Hankerson, my manager, who's her uncle, uh, told me to go up to Detroit and hear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This already sound off. So her uncle, this probably a couple years ago, since they best friends, you know what I'm saying? Like they hadn't been talking for a couple years. So R. Kelly probably like 25, 24, and she like 12. And the uncle says, shoot, let me get some of that bread, R. Kelly. Hey, take my niece with you. I don't care what you do, take her with you. Just let me get a little bit. Look, you got to watch out, man. Got to watch out for your family members because they'll sell you too. I seen, once I got up to Detroit, I didn't have to hear her sing because she was glowing. I knew she had it. As soon as she started singing, that verified it. And from there, we became here. Everything is all good. Mm -hmm. right. Is Aaliyah your real name? Aaliyah is my real name. It's very unique. It's nice, though. I think it's Muslim Arabic. All oh, right. Does know, it? I mean, do you know the meaning, or does it have a meaning? It means the highest, most exalted one, the best. All right. Here Who's we go. You? Mm -hmm. oh. right. Everybody, though. <laughs> Can you say it one more time so we make sure we get this? The highest, most exalted one, right? The best. The best. Right. Get it, y'all. <laughs> now, what does everybody call you? I know your name is Robert, but do they say Yo Art, Yo Kelly, Yo, yo Robert, Yo Art? Uh, Kelly. Uh, some call me Ark. Mm -hmm. You know, making a mistake. Right, Art. <laughs> yeah, but uh, most uh, people who know me call me Rob. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me, um, Aaliyah. I know you're a straight A student. How do you mix with, uh, you know, studies and slash artists? Well, it was very hard to intertwine school with the career, but I do feel that education is number one. Cool. So I work hard at that, and I go to performing arts school, so oh, right. they're very helpful. They've been very cooperative with me. DSA, everybody knows <laughs> that's right. And uh, my parents work with me, Good. so they help me keep my grades up. What do your parents think about your career? They're very happy for me mm -hmm. that, you know, I finally got where I wanted to get. I've been working very hard and they've been... They finally got what they wanted to get, too. You know, the little things to run around and sing and they've helped me. They've developed me. Now, how do people finally. around you act? I mean, I, you know how people say you've changed and it's usually not you who've changed, but the people around you. Do you feel that kind of vibe going on? Well, my friends at school, they 
they've been supportive. They haven't. They don't think I've changed any. They, they're the same. <laughs> I'm the same. We're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Though. Now, how is he to work with? Rob is great to work with because really, it's not like we work because we're like really close. So it's like just fun. Really, we just hang out, mm -hmm. sing. I don't ever remember working. Yeah, it's just like fun. <laughs> It seems like you had a lot of fun recording your album, but is there any song on the album that is your baby that you like more than others? At your best. At your best. Mm. At your best, you are loved. And that's what we're going to peek at today, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Why that song? Because I love the Isley Brothers, mm -hmm. and uh, I really admire them. They're very unique. Their sound is very... Hey, and also, ain't it crazy how they got the whole little Mickey Mouse song, though? You know what I'm saying? She got the Mickey Mouse. We know what's going on with Mickey Mouse and with Disney. And they just throwing it in our face, even back then. Very unique. You can tell the Isley Brothers song right off. And when he brought it to me, I just fell in love with it from the first time. So that's why I love it. Where'd the title of the album come from? She's running around the studio one day with her friends. <laughs> talking around the smack. I'm like, age ain't nothing but a number, girl. I was like, what, what, what's the what you trying to say? So immediately I heard the song, mm. you know, and right. I said, I called her back 15 minutes later, told her, check this out. So we cool. cut the track right then and there. Right. And for the mm. record, you are how old? That's a secret. Uh -oh. Women doesn't disclose her age. <laughs> you are high school, shorty. That's <laughs> right. So now y'all getting ready to set off this tour. And I want you to know I'm coming with you because I'm on the heavy D side, so we're going to set it off. Tell right. them about the tour, the package. I don't think everybody knows about it. Well, well first of all, there's going to be a lot of excitement. Uh, heavy D, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Warren G, uh, Coolio, Aaliyah, myself. And, uh, it's going to be a bomb. Now, are you guys going to be a package on stage, or are you doing your thing and you're doing your thing? Um, <clears throat> I think I come off. Yeah, she's right, coming right on before. first. Mm, right. Do her thing. I'm gonna do my thing. Right. Yeah. Leah, I know you like movies. That's what you do in your spare time. Yep. Watch the movies. Uh, my favorite uh, horror flicks like Silence of the Lambs. My All favorite. Right. All time favorite. I like comedies <laughs> too. Do you have any aspirations <laughs> on? <laughs> yeah. Do you have any aspirations on becoming an actress or maybe you know moving into film down the road? Um, yeah, I would like to. Um, the school I go to, of course, be dealing with drama, dancing, everything. So I would like to do a little acting on the side. All cool. right. Well, let's check out this new video of yours, mm -hmm. At Your Best, You Are Love by the Isley Brothers. Let's check it out, and then we're going to get back in your business. The remix. <laughs> All right. Remix. <laughs> your car oh, man. Be fueled by... Look. Hollywood is highly weird. It's all type of stuff that's going on in Hollywood, and it's been going on forever. Rob just water and here's how in 1998 Stanley Meyer invented a car that was able to run just on water He even made videos proving that this car worked and showed the entire world Now the problem is when the oil industry seen this they tried to pay him millions to stop and when he didn't they even threatened him This is because all of our cars run on gas and fueling your car will be free because water is literally everywhere So if people started using this new car the government would have lost billions of dollars And this ended up putting Stanley Meyer's life in jeopardy while Stanley was in a meeting with investors the girl's invention He took a sip of his drink and immediately ran outside while people were surrounding him asking was going on he yelled out they poisoned me as he fell to the ground and passed away and the strange part is shortly after this happened his water power car was stolen from his garage this caused a lot of news to come out saying that his car may have been the reason he passed away in the end people yep. still drive cars running on gas and the oil industry is still making his money let me know in the comment section what you think happened to stanley myers and follow me for more stories like this y'all stay conscious mm. That's crazy. Cash app not working because of system outage and mm. internet connection issues Anybody else having these problems? I mean, I was good. I think I'm good. My cash app might be good. Somebody send me a dollar on cash app. I'm trying to see some. Mm. So they said the moon is a translucent surface. I mean, translucent disc, not a ball. Now this would be crazy. It looks like a satellite dish, don't it? This is the moon in the daytime. Wouldn't that be some, y'all? Yeah. 
that's exactly how it looks. Okay, the moon at night time. Let's check it out. No way, hey, look at that, hey. They own us something with this. I'm about to make one of these at home. I gotta try this out for myself. That's crazy. Mmm. Mmm. What you think going on with young boy? I mean, clearly the tattoo tells you something. America, watch this. Entertainment purposes only. Mm. Over the weekend, North Korea simulating a nuclear attack on the U.S. On the, the simulated US. strike came early Saturday morning in response to joint military drills held by the U.S. and South Korea around the peninsula oh, that's earlier so this week. Now, just a few days prior, right. Pyongyang held a similar drill focusing on South Korean targets. State media reports that the North Korean drills were meant to warn the enemies of the actual nuclear war danger. Now, News Nation senior national security they are, trying to and flex. retired Air Force Lieutenant General Richard oh, Newton is here to weigh in. Lieutenant uh, General Newton, you and I have talked about this before and how uh, North Korea likes to flex their muscle and things like that. The two of these simulated nuclear strikes, unless and this is to the chosen, we really don't give this no energy, but it's also good for us to stay alert and see what they're talking about. Be aware of what's going on. Be conscious of what's going on. And always have a plan for if anything happens. As you can see, North Korea doing simulations on how to blow America up. Mm. But that's just for entertainment, gang. Aren't y'all entertained? Look, I ain't trying to see war nowhere at no time. This new Britney Spears Mandela effect is insane. Watch this video and pay attention closely to what she has to say. We're all familiar with this Oops, I Did It Again iconic look by Britney Spears. But please tell me what is missing here. Watch this. Tell me if we all have the same answer. Mm. Oh, they got shoes. That's what's missing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, I did not know what it was at first, but clearly it's the microphone. Yo, I know I got some old heads up in the group chat, man. It ain't all young people in there. Y'all got to remember this. Y'all got to have it in y'all memory. Yo, she had a microphone. That's crazy. It's a lot of crazy stuff going on, uh, going on with Britney right now. You know, like, man, these Mandela effects, something else. She had this black Yeah. Again, microphone. And microphone. Even old Barbies had the microphone. This one was by Britney Spears, so you know the microphone was legit. We're not making That's it up crazy. here. There, there was a microphone in the music video. Even the Lizzie McGuire episode, when, with her playing Britney Spears, she had the microphone. Like, we all remember Britney having the mic, but now in the music video, she doesn't have the mic. Which is the Mandela effect. Like, we remember things differently than they actually are. When the music video came out in the 2000s, the microphone made a statement. This music video is lying. It's actually crazy how That's the Mandela crazy. effect just keeps on striking again. But if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And make sure to follow me and subscribe on YouTube. Link in bio. And I'll see you guys there. See you guys in the next video. Let's get it. Look, all I know is as much as these Mandela effects is going around, Look, Nelson Mandela better coin that term, man. You better copyright that or some. You know, pay him a dollar every time somebody say Mandela effect. You guys need to watch the intro to this Milani Martinez concert. This might be one of the creepiest things I have ever seen, yeah. especially what she says at the end. Looks a little creepy, don't it? Earthlings, huh? Spirit or something? Wanna know a secret?
Yo, what's that, a mushroom or something down there? So it looks like they're praising a the mushroom or something down there. That was just creepy. I don't know what else to say. New warning. Apple said do not sleep next to your phone while it is charged. Son, if you're out here watching my video today, I want you to know that when I tell you to not charge your phone by your bed, this is why. And anybody else watching, this is why. Big Tech Giants warned that having a phone charger close by can result in a fire, electric shock, injury, or damage to the iPhone or other property. Falling asleep with the phone in your hand is a bigger no-no. That can lead to the phone getting mm -hmm. under your blanket, pillow, or your body and cutting off your airflow. She put the phone on her and now she's electrically charged. It's Unplug almost the phone. 0.00. 0.0. Crazy, right? Look at that. Wait, watch when he plugs in. The EMF detector. Electromagnetic frequency. You see how far that is? If you're lying in bed with that next to your head, that is all going into your head. How many people have their phone charging right underneath their pillow every night? So for about five to, I don't know, 10 hours for some, some people sleep a long time, you have a phone just radiating the mess out of your whole body, mainly your brain. With the signals, that's electric. Electric. Phone, yeah. If you're on the phone, yeah, let me do it. If you're on the phone, it's going to your head. That's why I know. Yeah. I'll try it when I pick the phone up when it's, char when it's charging. Oh, keep that phone out your bed now while y'all going to sleep. Matter of fact, keep it out the room. Y'all still sleeping in the bed with y'all phone? Let me know what y'all think about this one in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Man, look, I'm about to get about 20 phones, put them all plugged up into a charger, and put them in my hand. I turn into Electro from Spider Man. If y'all have not heard, the U.S. announced they're sending conventional depleted uranium rounds to Ukraine. Whoever Why? is in Washington that made this move has lost their goddamn mind. Then they go along to say, oh yeah, it's just uranium. It's not hurting anybody. But let's think about it. What else uses uranium? All nuclear power plants uses nuclear fusion. And most power plants use uranium atoms. Uh, Russia responded by saying it's inhumane to be using depleted uranium shells in Ukraine. Mm. They was telling them these are the side effects of uranium ammunition. Let's read that real quick, y'all. So, it says that small particles of uranium settle in the respiratory tract, lungs, esophagus, accumulate in kidneys and liver, cause cancer, and lead to inhibition of the whole organism's functions. Basically, you die. <laughs> like, there's, there's really nothing else to say about that. Like, over time, that's just, it's, it's, it's gonna happen. Who just had a meeting and said, people respond to this accordingly. Whatever the fuck that means. Putin has already been saying he ready for this shit. I don't know why I keep trying to fuck around and find out. I'm so serious. Like, I'm finna have to get the fuck out of America. He said it could sink Britain, huh? Yo, you could try to get out of America. Ain't nowhere to go, man. Boom. Biggest hurricane in history? What does it have? If you guys haven't seen this video, Yo. I suggest you go and watch it. Because this guy is telling us about how one of the biggest hurricanes ever recorded in history is gonna be hitting the East Coast within the next week. I mm. haven't heard nothing about it. I haven't read nothing about it. I haven't seen nothing about it on the news. So what is going on and why are people not being told to prepare? Why? Because this is a man-made storm. That's all I'm gonna say. If you haven't realized, there's a whole new world order going on around us, you know? Mm. A whole new currency, 
a whole new um, virus, a whole new mutation of the COVID, whatever you want to call it. But people are going to start going into lockdown. FEMA camps are going to start to open. Things are going to start to go really bad, really crazy, really quick. And if I were you guys, I'd stop saying that people like me are crazy and you should start listening. Quick rant, but back on the topic of that storm Bats. that's coming. Prepare, prepare, prepare. That's for sure. Um, get ready, get food, get supplies. If you live on the East Coast, warn your families, share everything. But on another note, this is on the 14th. The Yo, check it out. That's, that's just literally, that's tomorrow. And this thing shows that it's covering basically the entire East Coast of the United States. Like, it goes... I can't even say it's dang near is touching South America, the Caribbean islands and the United States all at once. And I ain't heard a thing about this on the news. Granted, I don't really watch like the news news, but I haven't gotten any updates, you know, sent to my phone or anything like that. So this is going to be wild. They were supposed to like combine with this one and get really bad. But I was looking at something completely different. Yo. Look at what's going on around the rest of the world. There is storms everywhere. The world lit up right now. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I know for a fact that we are being censored from other countries, other people that are in need all over the world because we don't know what's going on everywhere. We don't know about all this besides what's going on in Maui, but what's happening to all these people and why are we not seeing or right. hearing anything about it? The Yo, and man, isn't it crazy how living in the, the Northern Hemisphere, right? You never get any news about anything that happens down in the south, right? The southern hemisphere. The further south we get is probably Texas. But you never hear about anything else. You don't know what's going on in Central America. You don't know what's going on in South America. You rarely hear about what's going on in Africa or Australia or India. So that alone right there should tell you something. But dang, what's going on down there? Like, we got some more duels? These people cannot be okay. Like, what is going on? But for real people, prepare. If you want to go look at her yourself, it's at wendy.com. To do a quick recap of what that guy was talking about, here we are on the 8th, right? Here is Saturday the 9th, Sunday the 10th, Monday the 11th, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday. Look how big that storm Sunday. is. It's gonna get real bad for people all right here. Yeah. So warn your peoples, share, 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 friends. Please, please, please always remember to believe in the unbelievable and lift the veil off your eyes. Yo, it's gonna get bad all around. <laughs> Guys, I want you to watch this video. I am not gonna make a video on this because I think this guy really gets into like the grid of it. Plus, I don't know shit about the Bible, but whenever Way to keep it real. signs, you know, meet up with like revelations and things like that, it, you know, you just can't deny that. So just watch this guy. But use your discernment. Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. We're almost home. Now on right. to the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And these rapture signs are as clear as a bell. And as you can see right there in the Revelation 12 sign, there's an asteroid, what they call an asteroid, named a bell. And when you look up the meaning of a bell in the dictionary, the meaning is as clear as a bell. And in this heavenly billboard, this sign, he just keeps making it clearer and clearer, family. And a bell is also known as 3449 a bell. How much more clearer could he make it? 3449, the definition is toil, hardship, usage, wearisome labor. And she being with child cried in pain to be delivered. And this is gigantinormous. Just a couple days ago, an astronomer discovered this comet. And it's right there. Comet 2023, Nishimura. And what I'm about to show you, what God showed me, is truly amazing. And his sign speaks for itself. And it's this new comet, Nishimura. And most of us watchmen already know that Job 38, 31 has something to do with the rapture. 
Canst thou bind the sweet hmm. influences of Pleiades or loose the bands of Orion? The cords of Orion, like the umbilical cord? And it's not a coincidence. It can only be God's odds that this comet was just discovered, and it happens to be in the woman during the Revelation 12 sign. And I'm going to show you exactly what hmm. happens. And I'm going you to take you in. back to the beginning of Hanukkah last year, December 18th. And you can see this comet is headed towards the constellation Orion. And I believe, and you'll see it, that our father used this comet to loosen the bands of Orion. As you can see, the comet goes right across the bottom, right across the star Rigel, and makes a complete circle all the way around Orion. And passes Beetlejuice right when hmm. summer started. Then this comet goes past the Gemini twins and what they call Cancer and speeds up, flies by Leo, Dang. and flies right into the woman. Now check this out. On the 20th, I'll zoom in so you can see. When you go through the hours, you could see the comet approaching the square of the woman's body. And on the 20th, it crosses the line and I'll go through the hours so you could see it slides right out on the 22nd the last day of summer mm. and we already know that he is going to raise us up on the last day of something and by the 23rd this comment has went through the woman and when you look up the mean yo Y'all remember in one of my past videos, we were talking about this date, 923, right? And how they've been constantly showing us subliminals about this date, 923. And supposedly something might be happening on 923. And here we go again with another 923 date. He's talking about the rapture and the end of times or some stuff like that. I don't know about all of that. I hope not. But we just got to wait and see. I mean, time's a ticking. We got about 10 days, y'all. ...of this astronomer's name, Nishimura. It actually means to go west. And that's which way the comet's going. It goes into her stomach through the west and comes out through the south. And I'll walk you back through it. As you can see, as you go through the days... The comet is headed west, and then it makes a hard turn and busts left and comes out of her. By the 23rd, family, this new green comet is out of the woman, hmm. and hopefully we'll be out of this world. With our Father and the Son, Jesus Christ, together in the kingdom of heaven, so I've seen tons of comments doubting this sign, and many of them are saying this happened in 2017, the same thing. Well, that's the farthest thing from the truth that there is. In 2017, it was just Jupiter when the woman was clothed with the sun and the moon was under her feet. So praise our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, he's got our backs. Everybody that's awake that knows that this is the Revelation 12 sign. Our father just proved it by letting Mishimura discover this green comet that looks like a torch flying through the heavens straight into the Revelation 12 sign. All glory to our father. It looks like he's saying what Patrick is telling you is true and he's pointing it out. This green comet preparing the way for Jesus Christ, lighting the way, is pinpointing and exposing the Revelation 12 sign. It's confirmation. It's his signs. This is his heavenly billboard. This is how he's lighting it up and getting everyone to focus on the Revelation 12 sign. And if this comet is visible, like they're saying in September, when you look up in the heavens at night, you will see right where the Revelation 12 sign is. It will be right in the woman. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I will be out there in the sky looking for this green comet. You hear me? Get you a scope if you ain't got one. You'll be able to see it right next to Spica. It's our father. Lighten it up.
Mm. So what y'all think? Y'all think it's the rapture? You know what I'm saying? Or you think it's just a birth of a new age? We are definitely in a whole nother area. This is an energy vortex that happened in somewhere in Africa. Mm. The energy vortex literally came from the land all the way up to the sun. Do y'all see this? It looked like something was Let's in there too. I told y'all we finna start seeing a lot more strange and creepy things. Things that are out of the ordinary. Hey, more strange and creepy, more fire content. When we keep seeing this veil is lifting and the eyes will start seeing strange things, this video is what we're talking about. I'm talking about a whole energy vortex that came up from the earth and surrounded the sun and evaporated. Y'all can't tell me we ain't almost in a 5G. Let me know what y'all think about this crazy video. Comment, like, and follow for more wisdom, and stay tuned. Mm. Yeah, I can't wait to start seeing all this strange you stuff. Talk about like the Illuminati and shit like that. That shit been like the topic since when? When did people start talking about that again? Like 2008, 2007? Probably something like that. But I remember being young as fuck. My cousins coming in. In room like oh my god if you fold the twenty dollar bill this way like the twin towers burning uh saying all that shit and then i mean i ain't really know too much to, what to say about it because it's like shit like i was i mean yeah we've been doing that for a long time i remember being a kid literally doing that. is not a joke right here tell me you can see how windy it is right here right explain to me this how is it this windy but the clouds aren't moving how is that how is it I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's confusing to me that it's so windy and not one cloud is moving in the sky anywhere. So I don't say something. If, if this is confusing to some other people, okay, look, I just don't understand. It's so windy right here and not one, not even the baby clouds are moving. By the way, it's the amazing dogs. Come out, more part California and Bush Paintball. Why aren't the clouds moving? So the clouds always been confusing to me, in all honesty. I mean, like you got these clouds that never fall. They literally are at a certain level in the sky and stay there. But what, you know, kind of gets me is that you have a level of clouds up here, but above that level of clouds, there's more clouds that look completely different than these clouds. You know what I'm saying? So you have basically like you could have air down here that's not moving up here and air up here that's moving not moving down here or up here. So I just feel like there's levels to this, basically. Movie scenes that reveal the truth. It's only sitting around the table. Why do we sit around the table that's got some food on it? A pimp's blood sugar is falling fast. We can use some comfort food right about now. That's Popeyes. Y'all think that's Popeyes? Wingstop? Which one? If you're from Rockford, the catch. <laughs> Missionary position. What are we doing? Right, right. Okay. As with any mystery, we gotta lay out the facts. Mm -hmm. What is it we know? Mm. What we do know? He dead. <laughs> he ain't here no more. <laughs> <laughs> they stupid. <laughs> But, 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 plot twist. The nigga also right here. <laughs> <laughs> Two fine things. Two fine things. Double time. Two fine things. Double time. Double time. Trap power. An But, Debo here, he said the damn elevator gone. Yeah, that shit, whatever clues we had is a hundred feet buried under the ground. Trap power. Two fine things. Double time. It won't hurt you to smile every once in a while. You know, I know this motherfucker for years. I ain't never seen him laugh. Not once. I never seen him laugh. I never seen you laugh. Look, he realized it now. Yeah, he know what's going on. Mmm. Mmm. 
I don't want no Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich. I'm good. Yo, this movie is crazy. They be dropping gems left and right. One of my favorite movies, though, of all time. Or at least as of recent, for Raising sure. a bunch of fucking snitches. They making movies about snitches. Alpo movie. Alpo's a snitch. American gangster. Frank Lucas. He's a fucking snitch. Uh, Nicky Barnes. He's a fucking snitch. Mm. Why are they making movies about snitches? Why there is no movie about Wayne Perry in D.C.? Why there's no movie about Atulu Shakur? And all these motherfucking niggas that's locked up doing life, man. They promoting snitching. They want niggas to snitch on each other. Fuck snitching. We got other things to worry about. Let's snitch. All right, you want to snitch? Let's snitch. Like right now, I'm snitching on the government. I'm Ooh. letting them. I'm snitching on the Illuminati. I'm snitching on the military. I'm snitching on the fucking religion. I'm snitching on some real shit. I ain't snitching on my, my brothers in the streets. Fuck beefing with all these street niggas. Hey, yo, we need to get together and fucking go at the, the government, son. The military. All these motherfuckers that, that's corrupting our minds, our brains. The Food and Drug Administration, Hollywood, um, you name it. Healthcare, uh, the, uh, everything. Everything is connected. It's all crooked. They got this whole world fucked up. Mm. They got our minds fucked up about all that shit. Why you think they murdered that nigga? It wasn't mm. no rat war. It wasn't because he jumped and he jumped that nigga Orlando. No, 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 no. That's a motherfucking lie. The government killed Pop. The feds had something to do with it. They set that nigga up. And they, and they had something to do with Biggie getting killed too. And then they tried to make it look like a rat war. Yo. The captions say it all. Prodigy was different. The pilot of the Earth is flat. Can I talk to the pilot, please? You're here. You're the pilot? Hi. How yeah. long have you been flying for? Uh, like, we know for 21 years, but maybe like 30 something. 30. I want to know, um, because they say the pilots know a lot. Do you think the Earth is flat or no? <laughs> I know it's flat. You know it's mm. flat? How long have you been flying mm. for? Over 30 years. And mm. when, people, when you tell people that, do they think they're like crazy or? Only one person. Only one person? No, the Mandela effect is not just some TikTok BS. It actually started in the 80s. And it gets pretty deep and wide. I know that a lot of people remember the Monopoly guy with a monocle. Yo. Little stuff like Pikachu. Yo, I definitely remember the Monopoly guy. I never even thought about that one until just now. I used to play Monopoly with my family when I was a kid a lot. Even a Pikachu joint, I didn't even know that it was different until now. Mandela effects are crazy. Jews tail, the spelling of Looney Tunes, and the Fruit of the Loom logo. I remember when I was a kid, I was like, Mom, what is that thing? And Literally. Said, it's a cornucopia. Literally. And that's where I learned the word cornucopia. It was from the Fruit of the Loom logo, by the way. And what about Queen? Tell me, is there something missing from the end of this song? you wanted to say of the world right there and i know it i mm. like turtles and that'll bring us to our next mandela effect this is a mandela effect personally in my life and you can choose to believe me or don't i don't care but this is a mandela effect that happened to me you see this railing here for this turtle dock i had one of these turtle docks for my turtles and I used to take this apart, this railing, I'd take it out of there and clean it all the time. And it was metal. And I could remember the tinking of the metal on the sink as I would hmm. clean this and put my turtle dock back in. Well, I had to buy a new turtle dock because this dock was melting from the heat lamp. And I had to buy a whole new dock. So I did. I bought this brand new dock. I got this dock right here, broke it out of the box, pulled that railing out, and they had started making it out of plastic. So I was like, no, I threw that plastic one straight in the trash and I went over to my tank to grab the metal railing out 
to put it to the new dock because I was like, I want to use the metal when it's sturdier and I just like it to be metal. Well, I went over to my tank and I went to grab it out and sure enough, it was plastic too. Uh. So if you have any personal Mandela effects like that that have happened, please <laughs> put them in the comments or make a reply video about it. I want to know. And here's another thing about the Mandela effect. Quit trying to find proof for the Mandela effect. There will be no proof. Here, the thing is, right now we live within a timeline or a universe where this Monopoly guy never existed. So we cannot find a Monopoly box with him on it living within a timeline or a universe where he just simply was never put on a box with a monocle. So it is actually impossible if we are talking about timeline jumps or even time travel it is impossible to be living within a timeline where something had never existed in the first place and finding evidence of it. Do you understand what I'm saying? All we have is our own memory as that proof. Do you trust your memory? Do you trust what you saw with your own eyes in another timeline? All we have brought is our memories with us if it is timeline jumps. Which also makes me think about these God versus no God debates. Like if you're debating someone who does not believe in God and they're like, prove it, prove it, prove it. Well, if you had a Holy Spirit experience, anything like me, well, he proved himself to me in a way that it was so personal to me. It's evidence to me. But the thing is, is I can give my testimony, but my testimony is no evidence to you. When God revealed himself to me, it was personal and it was evidence for me building our personal relationship. So I can't use my evidence. I can use a testimony and people can choose to believe it or not believe it, just like the turtle dock. I told you about my turtle dock experience. You can choose to believe it or not believe it. That's up to you. I and don't know. Fun. Same goes for the Mandela experience. All we have is our memory. Now, when we're kids, we retain information in a different way. From age one to five, we are a sponge. And our memory, we can trust that. You know, we have memories of, of things as children that we know for a fact, especially when kids repeat stuff. We're a sponge and we repeat it. This is the song that never ends. I walked around singing that, driving my mom crazy when I was little. And it was never. It wasn't doesn't. It wasn't doesn't, dog. Yo, the fact that our memories and our, what is really in reality can be completely different because we're on two separate timelines and that that timeline can also switch and you can jump to another reality is just mind-blowing because you can have memories of something that you have no proof that was ever even there. But like you said, you got to trust your memories, right? These Mandela effects are crazy. But yeah, guys, these are some of the most creepy and bizarre TikToks that are out there. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.